I think I sent out like 60 emails with PDFs at that time. So we had to apply with our second term work to get an internship in the fourth term. So it was really rarely good stuff. So you had to sort out and see what's really good to use for. And even nowadays, I can't look at my portfolio anymore. Somehow it worked out to get the, the OK for Mercedes AMG. And that was kind of the first experience. You come into a studio and you see like real people working on real projects. And then suddenly you're in a different world. And of course, this is pushing you all the time. And you want to do good stuff. And you have tutors there. They're going to show you everything. and. Um, even if you think, I remember if they tried to tell you, okay, do it, do it again, do it again. And I saw the sketch like, what's the problem? I don't see anything. And you really learn to look at those details and um, seeing, seeing different things suddenly. It's way more detail oriented and more production oriented. You just can't be um, as crazy as you were when you studied. So that's a good experience you, you get from internships. And also for me, I, I needed more. I felt, oh, this is super important. And I was applying again and again. So I ended up at uh, Volkswagen Studios in Wolfsburg, um, where I was maybe more focused on commercial vehicles at the time. Especially doing things like the Amarok. Um, they tell you, oh, you can't put a mechanic there. It has to be functional and cheap. And you learn to think different about products, really as, as like a designer should think about it. Um, and yeah, there you get the space where you think, OK, everything has a function. And everything which is too much is not worth the price to, they're going to pay for. So that was a nice process where you recognize, OK, you have to be a thinker, not just doing amazing sketches. They have to have a function all the time. And that's something you won't really get in a university there. Everything has to be, let's say, it has to be more advanced. It has to be freaky somehow. And it's not that typical working product that has to get into production afterwards. So that's like the biggest contrast you just get out of internships. And for myself here, it was um, Volkswagen. Then I went uh, to another internship to Mercedes buses. It's called Evo Bus, just a two month internship to see how like the big commercial vehicles work, just to have another contrast and then Nadia another point of view. And after that, I went to a Chinese uh, startup, which is a uh, Koros. They were based in Munich at the time and it was also a completely different point of view. And you can always see the difference from studio to studio. And every internship will just help you to get a more open um, point of view. Mm -hmm.